Today we will be drawing and painting some citrus fruits. Start using a pencil and eraser to sketch out the fruits. To draw a lemon, start with an oval, then on the ends add a little hill. Then outline the shape of the lemon and erase the guidelines. Draw in highlights so you know where to leave white. The leaves are simple, just draw two wavy lines and connect the ends. For the lemon slice, use a circular object to trace a circle. Then draw a slightly smaller circle inside that circle. To draw the slices, just draw straight lines through the center of the circle, splitting the circle into eight even sectors. And within each sector, draw the shape of a pizza slice. We want to leave a white line in between each slice. Once you're finished, you can erase the guiding straight lines. Then add the highlights. To draw half a lemon, start with an oval, then draw a semicircle on the end with a little bump. Then draw a smaller oval within that oval, and then add the guiding straight lines, and then draw each slice just like we did for the orange slice. Once you're finished, erase the guidelines, then add highlights. Drawing a lime is really similar to the lemon. Start with an oval and then add a bump, except make this one a little bit pointier. Then outline the lime, and then add highlights. You can use these basic drawings to compose your own citrus design. Once you've sketched out your drawing in pencil, you can start watercoloring. Start by painting the lemon yellow, but leaving the highlights white. Then use ochre to add shadow to the perimeter of that lemon. Use the yellow and the water to blend the two colors together. For the half lemon slice, begin by painting the rind yellow with a little bit of ochre. You can also use a thin brush here, it'll make it a little bit easier. Next paint each slice yellow and then with some streaks of ochre. Remember to leave some white spots for the highlights. You can add some ochre to your brush, then gently dip it in the yellow when it is still wet, and then it will naturally blend.
For the lemon half, start by painting the peel yellow. Next, outline the perimeter of the lemon in ochre. Don't forget to blend the two yellows together. Then paint the inside of the lemon the same way you painted the lemon slice. For the grapefruit slice, I'm using my thin brush and painting the rind red with some yellow. We will be painting the slices the same way we painted the lemon, just with different colors of red, orange, and yellow. Remember to leave some white spots for the highlights. Next, switch to brown so we can paint the stick of the lemon. For the leaves, start by painting the edges dark green. Then in the center, add some water and then blend the two together. So it's darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. Another method is beginning by laying down a layer of water, then dipping the dark green directly into the water.
For the line, begin by painting the whole thing light green. Then switch back to yellow with some water and then dot it over the highlights. Then use dark green to add shadows to the perimeter of your line. Don't forget to blend the two colors together. Do some final touch-ups and add more washes of color until you get the opacity you want. Once you're happy with how it looks, let it dry. If you like it this way, you can stop here. But an optional next step is outlining some of the shapes with a pen or marker or sharpie. You can really be creative with how you outline it and make it your own style. Good job, I'm so proud of you. Remember to be creative. I hope you've had a good time. Thank you for watching.